Welcome back to the news. Several parties, including the Janata Vimukti Peramuna, responded to a statement made by former President Mahindra Rajapaksa yesterday that former secretary to the President Lalit Viratunga was not a state sector employee. When J.R. Jaiwardena drafted the constitution and the executive presidency, Lalit Viratunga served as my secretary, not as a state sector employee. A president secretary does not come under the state sector. He calls himself an attorney, doesn't he? Ask him to thoroughly read the 19th Amendment of the Constitution. The 19th Amendment to the Constitution clearly lists out those who do not fall under the category of state sector employees. And the Secretary to the President is not included in that list. So one can assume that he committed this act of bribery before the 19th Amendment was passed. But even in that case, it states that you cannot violate a written Constitution. Even international law cannot be violated. They are trying to imply that Lalit Viratunga is not involved in this scam by putting the blame on the Constitution. But the general public knows what he did. If this is a government of policy, this should be mentioned in the budget proposal when presenting it to the parliament. No, we had sent these to the respective provinces in advance, so the officials there had distributed them. No, that is a lie. The Elections Commissioner has issued a letter in 2014 with a heading Violation of Election Laws in State Sector Level at the 2014 Uber Provincial Council election. The letter reads, if silk cloth was distributed under government expenditure, it falls under this category. Even if it was distributed at the expense of a certain person or private wealth, distributing them during election period with the candidate's name or number displayed on them, it goes without saying that this is also a violation of election laws. 600 billion rupees of the country's money. Didn't the devotees wear silk cloth at all for them to distribute this specifically during election period? A loan was also obtained for this. A single family utilized 60% of the country's wealth. The second point is that we were given only a little and even the elephant fences were built by Basil. Basil did not even let us construct a toilet. That is how they made use of their ministerial portfolios. <laughs> Since the actual work has begun, Mahindra Rajapaksa is now getting fired up and is now running to Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe to conspire how to topple President Maithripala Sirisena. It is a bit difficult to do that. The revolution brought on the 8th of January 2015 was to capture these rogues, murderers and the officials who engaged in corruption. This is what the people expected and that is why this change is brought about. So the President cannot change courses from this. Ranil Vikramasinghe can change his position in the UMP, but not Maitri Pala Sirisena. That is the promise. When it comes to the silk cloth issue, the verdict was given and they were taken to the Velikara prison. They changed their attire into prison clothing and you see the lawyer taking the suit and tie away. That is all you see. No one knows what happens after that. They were immediately taken to the prison hospital. We request the President and the Prime Minister to immediately send a group of medical officers to the prison hospital. Change the doctors in the hospital if they have done something wrong.